Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm about to do your reading for November 6th through November 12th. This is intended to be a love reading. This is for the sun sign and the rising sign of Aries. And if you want to know why I don't include the moon signs, you can check out my welcome video. I have pre-shuffled, so I'm gonna I'm gonna lay these cards out in just a moment. I will zoom it in when I get done laying out the cards. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Time is fluid, so this could have already happened. It could be happening this week or it could be happening in the near future. pretty good doesn't it I think I'm gonna keep it just like that okay so the basis of your reading is the judgment card okay so this card tells me that you guys are going through an awakening this week some kind of wake-up call somebody from the other side could also be trying to communicate with you so really pay attention to the signs at this time all right because it appears that um, somebody is trying to get through to you and I just have to pause for one moment Now everything that happens for you during my reading is meant for you. So just keep that in mind. I had to pause, so you might have to pause for a moment. Um, I, like I said, somebody from the other side may be trying to communicate with you, so pay attention to the signs. I do feel like many of you are releasing something very heavy that you've been carrying around. Maybe you've been feeling ill or feeling um, not yourself. Maybe you need some time to recuperate or um, contemplate on something, but I feel like many of you are needing some time alone, okay? You probably have been through a period of either illness or um, fatigue or restlessness, and I feel like many of you just need some time to recuperate, all right? I just got to remind you guys that this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I am reminding you because somebody's been stealing my videos. So if this is under anybody else's channel, they have stolen the video. Okay, so um, I just wanted to remind you guys that um, it's a time of forgiveness. So if many of you are going through a period of letting something go. So I think that you are going, in order to let something go, you're going to have to forgive. So I'm not sure what that is, but I do see that there is some forgiveness needed. Um, with these two tens in this same lineup, something is going away, okay? I'm not sure what it is, but I'm sure that you can figure it out based on what's going on in your life. Many of you could be moving or you are moving on to a much better place in your mind, okay? You could be letting go of some kind of negativity. I feel like something is it's time to move on. It's really time to move on. So it feels like it takes strength, it takes courage, and it takes determination. I think that many of you are focusing on your future and, and you're just moving forward. Okay, many of you could be moving house. There could this could be the ending of either negative thoughts or it could be a negative relationship. You know, it just looks like many of you are absolutely moving on and you could be doing it very quickly. I think that you are acting on your hunches. I think you have an amazing new opportunity right in front of you. But, <laughs> there's always a but, um, forgiveness is needed. Okay, we have forgiveness here and forgiveness here. Forgiveness uh, is needed for something. And maybe you need to forgive yourself. Maybe you're feeling some guilt okay that you need to forgive yourself for I feel like your the your inner beauty is is just dying to come out okay I feel like you have a lot of inner beauty that has been pent up and you are just ready for it to come back out you want you're ready for your 
for your magnificence to come back, okay? And I think it's just, it's been lost. It's been, you've been through a period of lost uh, vibrancy, okay? And I think that now, this week, or just in the recent past or in the near future, that you are going to let something go that was very, very heavy, okay? And you're going to start to bring your vibrancy back. You're going to start to bring your beauty back. You're probably going to need some time to reevaluate your future. You might need to go through some healing, all right? I feel like there's been some tension in your life. Maybe there's been some overindulgences. There could have been some addictions that are affecting you. And I just feel like you really just need to let go. You need to surrender to the universe. You need to focus. Focus on your future. Don't look at the past. Release all the negativity. Okay, bring the balance back. Work on healing yourself. All right, I'm going to start shuffling. I think we have some excitement in the future for you. Something that is exciting, okay? We have an exciting new opportunity where you can release your passion that has been pent up inside. And I think that you haven't been able to. You haven't been able to release your passion, but I think with these two tens here and the judgment card, it's actually absolutely time for a completion in your life. And one of them is negative thoughts and one of them is a heavy burden that you just can't carry around anymore. Many of you could be um, going through an illness where you really, really need to take the time to heal. Really. You need to relax. You need to take, take it easy. Okay? You need to breathe. You need to... Take all the time you need to heal. Do not rush it, okay? Um, I think it's a time of renewal for many of you. It's also a time of absolution, okay? I think you need to look at something from a new perspective, all right? I think that many of you have lost some of your confidence and now it's finally coming back. You are really taking the lead and you're doing it because you, you have this passion. You have this passion and you that you must move forward. You have to move on. Your hunches tell you that you have to do something and yes, you do. You do. Don't feel guilty for following your path. I see that there's guilt here, and I think that forgiveness is to forgive with yourself. Forgive yourself and do the right thing for you, okay? I think many of you are going through a spiritual breakthrough, okay? A spiritual awakening. I feel like the good fortune is coming. It's on your side. All right, so rest assured that if you follow your passion, that the wheel is going to spin in your favor. Keep going, keep going, but don't rush it. Take your time because I think that this is a very heaviness, a heavy load. It is. I think that you're releasing something that is very heavy and it can't be rushed because it will make you sick if you rush it. Many of you may be going through an illness right now, but it may be completing. Okay, the illness may be starting to heal because you may, your, it looks like your vibrancy and your color is starting to come back. You know, your happiness, your health is starting to get better. We have three tens, four tens now, four, five, five tens, five tens. Now, you guys have a lot of completion here, a lot. And I know that you get these completions a lot. Many of you are going through major changes in your life right now. I think there's some, some completions. You may be changing homes. Like I said, some of you are going through a spiritual um, awakening. So uh, many of you are just releasing all of your old patterns, your negative patterns. It looks like we have a transformation here. Like you're transforming from one phase of your life to another completely everything is changing it's like your relationships are changing your home life is changing your thoughts are changing and your responsibilities are changing 
okay? I see major changes for you, and I think they're very good. When the Wheel of Fortune comes out, it means that you are having a change of course, but it's positive, okay? Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose, okay? Consider it a lucky break. You're about to start a new chapter in your life that's going to bring you a new relationship, a new home life, new positive thoughts, okay? I feel with the moon card here, it says that you've had some fears, fears of this change, fears of letting go, fears of the unknown. But I think that that this week or in the recent past or the near future, you're going to let that go. You're going to master your emotions and you are moving on to a much better place where there is a wish fulfillment and you can be very passionate, okay? You have a lot of passion inside that you want to share, okay? So I think that you are moving on. You've taken the lead, you've put yourself in the driver's seat, and you're choosing, you're choosing love. You're choosing, pa choosing passion and love, okay? I think you're releasing responsibilities, burdens, and you may need to take some time to heal, okay? So if you need to take time to heal, take all the time that you need. Because I see that many of you need to bring balance back to your life. And that's what you're doing, okay? This week especially, the basis of your reading is the judgment card. Karma, okay? We have quite a bit of karma here, all right? One karmic debt has been paid off. Okay, and I believe that you are so, so close to something brand new. I think a secret is about to be revealed. I think it's time for you to forgive yourself, mainly yourself. Forgive yourself, release the guilt, release the guilt that you've been carrying around and just go, just go. It's time for you to go. Just do it. Release the guilt and head in the direction that you are passionate about. I do think that somebody from the other side is trying to come through. All right, they're trying to help you. So pay attention to the signs. I think that we have good fortune I, that, that is about to come into play for you. It's your lucky break. Believe it or not, there's been some strife, but I think that uh, that's all going to change. That's all going to change. So remain positive. Release the negativity from your life. <laughs> For many of you, there could be some moving this week. I feel like you have taken action. All right, you have definitely taken action. I think that um, your man your power to manifest is huge is huge your thoughts become things and because you're thinking about your future and you're thinking about following your own passion and following your own path you know that's what is manifesting all right I think many of you are have a lot of success in the future I think you're going to be very successful with these completions. I do, I see a lot of success here. I see a lot of um, triumph, okay? There's triumph. And you're gonna feel beautiful inside and out, vibrant. You're gonna be vibrating very high. I think many of you are moving to another level spiritually as well. I just have to throw, I believe that. Many of you have uh, are moving to another spiritual level. Remember that your strength comes from within. Your strength comes from your gentle compassion and love. So if you're feeling guilty, replace it with gentle compassion and love. Okay? Don't feel guilty for following your path. I think you need to brace yourself because... There's some major completions here. Big changes on the horizon that you've manifested. It's time, okay? It's time. 
as above, so below with this magician card. This has, is, this has been manifesting for a while now. It is time for you to shed the old. Shed the old, okay? I think you are waiting and willing for this this completion, this change. And it is going to bring back your, vi your vibrancy in a huge way. Huge. Wow. Have confidence. Rest assured that the decision, the sh decisions that you are making are bringing you closer to your life's purpose. They are. So keep going. Don't feel guilty. Do not. Forgive yourself. Forgive others for not understanding your path. And just do it. It's bringing you closer to your life's purpose. Have confidence. Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine. Wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. Yes. Absolutely. So, Aries, this is what I have for you. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I will talk to you next week. Above all, remember to forgive yourself and others and follow your path with passion talk to you later